Okay, guys, so Allah don't bust out too, for those who are coming to Italy now. Now, they say that one of the ships um, conducting rescue operations on the Mediterranean Sea has been confiscated and fined and also um, instructed not to make any movement for 20 days. Italy confines Ocean Viking migrant rescue ship for 20 days. So, these, you know that um, these rescue ships uh, usually go to the Mediterranean Sea to pick up migrants who are stranded on the sea. But as it is right now, um, Italy has confiscated this one and it will remain there for 20 days. And they also give them fine. So what happens is that the Italian law um, um, right now says that if you want to conduct a rescue operation, you must conduct one at a time. So if you see two uh, Lapa Lapa or two uh, dinghies on the Mediterranean Sea, you rescue one and leave the other. That's what the law says. So every time these uh, rescue missions um, do not follow that, when they see this one here and see this one the other side, you we'll go and rescue the people together. And when they do that, the government will say, no, this is not what we agreed upon. And then they will suspend them. That's what's happening here. Let me quickly give you the full details of it. Now, they say Italian authorities have detained the Ocean Viking migrant rescue vessel for 20 days over its alleged failure to follow a prescribed, a prescribed, excuse me, prescribed route after rescuing dozens of people off Libya coast. The ship's operator, SOS Mediterranean, said on Sunday. Ocean Viking is detained under the Pen Pentedosi Decree Law for the second time in two months, pushing humanitarian rescuers for carrying out the life-saving work the, that European states failed to do in the Mediterranean. SOS Mediterranean, based in the French city of Marseille, said on social media platform Twitter, he said the ship had been ordered to return directly to the Italian port of Bari after picking up 244 people in the rescue operations, including 18 unaccompanied minors and four children under the age of four years. Now, but as it was heading for Bari, the Ocean Viking received an alert of at least 70 migrants needing help around 15 nautical miles, that is about 28 kilometers, from its position, though in fact the skiff was around 60 nautical miles away. Without any indication that another ship was en route to help these people in distress, we simply had no other choice, legal or moral, to respond to the alert, other than the, um, or any other choice would have been a violation of international law, says SOS Mediterranean. So they said that while they were going to Bari to disembark the first. Um, set of migrants that they have rescued, they got another information that another set of uh, migrants were on the sea and needed rescue. <coughs> Excuse me. So when they looked around and saw that no other ship was available to go and rescue these people, they said, okay, let us Tukuma take the risk and rescue these people once and for all. And they did. When they did that, the governments faulted them for rescuing uh, two ships or two Lapa Lapa at the same time down that collected a ban of 20 days. Look at it. Uh, Ocean Viking Soto uh, Sequesto Abare Violeto uh, Il Decreto Piantedosi. Okay? Uh, they have uh, violated the Piantedosi decree. In the end, the Ocean Viking was not in a position to help and resume its course toward Bari did not say if the migrants were later rescued. On 15th November, Italian authorities had already ordered the ship detained for 20 days and issued a fine <coughs> of 3,300 euros, saying it had failed to coordinate its actions with the authorities. Since January 2023, 2,678 migrants have disappeared while trying to cross the Mediterranean. For Europe, according to UN's International Organization for Migration um, <sighs> data. So this is how the rescue operation is going on the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, guys.
So let me know what you guys uh, think about it. I'll see you on the next one. Please uh, share this video and uh, drop your comments below. Give us a like. God bless you and bye-bye.